22 Conservative MPs uh, defied you and voted against the Stormont break yesterday. There are reports that whips are threatening potential rebels with a loss of funding for their area. Is that true? No. I was really pleased yesterday that there was very strong support for the Windsor framework, and that's because it's the right deal for Northern Ireland. It's good for families, for people, for businesses, for communities across Northern Ireland. It restores the balance in the Belfast Good Friday Agreement, secures Northern Ireland's place in our precious union, and makes sure that Northern Ireland has proper sovereignty. You know, that's why it's a good deal. I'm pleased that it commanded broad support and we can look forward to a better and brighter future. You paid about 22% in combined uh, tax on your income and capital gains. Is that fair or should capital gains tax be higher? Well, I, I, you know, I said I would publish my tax returns. I was pleased to be able to do that yesterday in the interest of transparency. And, and the most important thing is, what am I doing to help people of this country with the cost of living? That's their number one priority. That's why at the beginning of the year, I set out five priorities. The first of those was to halve inflation and the budget recently extended our support for people's energy bills. Just to remind everyone, you know, I took a decision to tax the windfall profits of big energy companies, 75% tax rate on those, and we're using that money to help pay for around half of everyone's energy bill over this winter. It's worth £1,500. That's the actions of this government. That's what we're doing.